a few things as uh, riveting as Indian politics. There's drama, betrayal, suspense, violence, and of course, money. All brought together by the quest for power. But as they say in Hindi, Janata is Janardhan. The final power rests with the people. The voters of Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Telangana, Chhattisgarh have made their choice. We will know that on the 3rd of December, which party they picked. But for now, Times Now ETG gets you the most accurate and comprehensive projections backed by meticulously collated data from the extensive ground surveys. Let's take a look at a poll of polls of the five states that went to elections. And it's uh, on your screens as far as uh, the poll of polls is concerned. This is uh, for Chhattisgarh, according to the Times Now ETG survey, Congress party, they're getting 52 seats, while BJP will bag 36. Access My India says 45 for Congress, 41 for BJP. ABPC voter says 47 for uh, uh, Congress and 42 for BJP. And the poll of polls says 49 seats for the Congress and 38 for the BJP. So the Congress, they're clearly having an edge on the BJP. Let's talk about Madhya Pradesh now. Uh, look at the poll of poll numbers. While uh, individual surveys show a neck-to-neck -neck fight, poll of poll shows that the Congress party in Madhya Pradesh is getting 104 seats, while the BJP will bag 123. So way ahead of the Congress. Let's move on and take a look at uh, uh, Rajasthan and what the poll of polls is suggesting. Uh, for Rajasthan, according to the poll of polls, it is going to be very, very clear. The difference is very evident, 82 for Congress and 105 for the BJP. So, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan. Now, it's uh, time to take a look at uh, numbers from Telangana. According to poll of polls, BRS is getting 45. Congress uh, clearly ahead of BJP and BRS getting 61. And BJP getting 7. AIMIM getting 6 seats. This is poll of poll predictions for the state of Telangana. Let's open this up and let's go across to our guests. We're joined by Anuja Kapoor, BJP spokesperson. We have Sham Prasad Meka, Congress leader joining us. Anuja Kapoor, individual surveys as far as Madhya Pradesh is concerned show a neck-to-neck -neck fight, but the poll of poll uh, is giving a clear edge to the Bharatiya Janata Party. Um, of course, I think on the ground, what we have seen uh, as our uh, um, eminent leaders, uh, J.P. Nadda ji, Amit Shah ji, and our Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister, they have uh, uh, been there on the ground uh, with the pra Parna Pramukh, and Panch uh, uh, Parmeshwar, Panch Parmeshwars. So what we call them are the people who are the booth. So this is the power of BJP, which works on the ground with booth level people and how the development versus the corruption is looked up. So that is where is the whole elections is about in Rajasthan, where you have seen very clearly how Ashok Galot has treated the Dalits has created the OBCs. They talk about OBC. What about Kharge? How do they treat Kargeji? And how Kargeji is being treated in the Congress itself in rallies we mm. have seen. Nobody listens to him. We see Ashok Geloji. Ashok Geloji uh, as in Lal Dai. Yeah, but who said nobody is listening to Mr. Malikajan Kharge? Let's, let's uh, talk about uh, the numbers. And Mr. Meka, you know, according to the poll of poll projections, Chhattisgarh and Telangana the Congress party seems to be bagging while losing out on Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. How, how are you looking at these numbers and what is your reaction? I think... Uh, uh, I, uh, I think... Uh, I, I'm still not uh, agreeing with the Madhya Pradesh numbers and uh, neither with uh, Telangana. Telangana is not as close as you might be showing in the polls. Um, Telangana is actually... There is a clear perceptible... Uh, wave uh, for for change, right? So I think uh, Telangana will do much better than the poll of polls. And Madhya Pradesh, uh, I think we are, uh, I, I still think we are going to get more than 120 seats. So I, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe I'm missing something that happens in the last one month. Is there a change in Madhya Pradesh? I, I doubt that. Uh, yeah, Rajasthan, I agree that it's a close fight. We, we don't know what will happen. And you think it's a close and fight or, or is Congress and Telangana, we are losing good. out on that state? Mm -hmm. Is Congress losing out on Rajasthan or do you, do you believe it's still a close fight? It's, it's a close fight. Anuja Kapoor, close fight, still a close I, fight, says Mr. Meka. I, I, I really appreciate uh, the Congress uh, spokesperson who is sitting here that he believes that. And Madhya Pradesh, yes, BJP is coming back. 
in Rajasthan. Yes, BJP is going to be back uh, in, 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 in Mizoram also, in Rajasthan, in Chhattisgarh too. So sure. we are looking and, uh, you know, these five states have uh, shown the sheer dedication of uh, Modi ji's uh, development, Vikas Agari. You know, when we talk about Vikas, uh, we talk about the people who look up at Modi ji, who look for development and infrastructure. And that is where and that is why BJP is coming back in all these states. Uh, we are very sure of forming the government because what people have seen is corruption. Jatiwad, when we talk about the, uh, you know, the appeasement policy, they just talk about a particular community. And as we see, BJP is not talking about only a particular community ever. They talk about the whole nation. We call Pradhan Mantri and himself, uh, 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 Prime Minister has talked about he's a Pradhan saver. Right. And when we talk about that, it is on the ground which he has shown. Hmm. So what we see that here, the whole... BJP cadre is on the ground. All right. And we are always in front in with, with the people. So this election is fought with the people, taking the whole uh, nation together okay. on the ground. All right. And, you know, I think on December 3rd, things would be things would be pretty clear. Mr. Meka, appreciate your honesty that you uh, do agree that uh, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh are two states that the Congress party seems to be losing out on. And uh, when that, if and when that happens, we'll... Uh, have a post-result analysis as well. Looking forward to discussing that as well with you. Thank you very much for the moment, uh, Ms. Kapoor and uh, Mr. Meka for joining us.